crafters, we hope you're having a great day. I would like to welcome all of you in the gameplay video of Race to Central Park. A board game was released on March 2020 and it was the second board game that we have made after getting a great response from all of you from Harry Potter themed Snake and Ladder. In this video, I'll be going through the rules of the game and also give some tips as to how the game can be won. So watch till the end. So let us go through the components of the game. For this game, we have the gaming board, perhaps the biggest gaming board that we have designed thus far. Then we have the manual, which consists of the rules, as well as information about the most important bong bank. And then we have um, the dice, the six gaming pieces of our six beloved characters, the wild card, the bong bank coins, and of course, a trophy for the winner. Now, let me walk you through the basics of the game. The plot is quite straightforward. We all remember how the TV series ended with all your favorite character heading towards the Central Park for one more cup of coffee. In an alternate reality that we have created, the six characters race their way to Central Park, where the first person to reach the coffee shop wins. Now, is the victory easy to come by in this game? Not really. The game has its twists and turns. Let's talk about it. To play the game, we recommend at least three players, but frankly, the more, the merrier. Then each of the players will take three coins from the bong bank. These coins are really important in this game, and I'll be explaining more about these coins later in this video. So to begin with, take three coins, and then each of the players need to roll the dice one by one, and you need to roll a one to get it. Once you roll a one, you will put your gaming piece on the start tile. And after that, on your next move, you will roll the dice and proceed on with the game. Now, players can take each other down once the players cross 9. Now say you are in 13 and your opponent takes you down. What happens then? Well, you fall down to the closest checkpoint. You can see how there are many checkpoints distributed throughout the game. If an opponent takes you down, or if you take an opponent down, the victim will simply fall down and go to the nearest checkpoint. Now, how does the player get out of this checkpoint? Well, the player has two options. The player can pay one coin to the bong bank and bail out of the checkpoint. That is, step on the tile connected to the checkpoint with the lowest number. But since the bong bank coins are so important, would you like to lose them? Well, if you don't want to, there is always another way to get out of the checkpoint by trying out the wild card. If you are trapped on the checkpoint and you opt for the wild card, then on your turn you need to roll the dice and see what that represents on the dice chart. If you roll a 1 or 2, you are doomed as you have to go right on the starting tile. While if you roll a 3 or 4, you escape out of the checkpoint and drop on the lowest number connected to the checkpoint for free. While if you roll a 5 or 6, you get to escape plus earn a coin from the bong bank. Win-win. Wildcard is a big gamble, hence we call it wild. If you have no coins at all in your hand and you are trapped in a checkpoint, then you have to try the wild card. Now let's focus on the board. You will notice how each of the characters has two traps. Say for Joey, we got a trap on 37 and 50. Each character has two traps. Now the biggest catch with the traps is that you are immune to your own traps, meaning Joey will not fall on Joey's traps. Rather. If Joey steps on his own traps, he will get a reward of 2 coins from the bong bank. However, Joey will definitely fall in trap if he lands on the trap of his opponents. The same goes for all the characters in this game. Now on the game changing element, the bong bank coins. All this while we have talked about gaining or losing coins, it must have occurred to you that what is the function of the coins? What is the point of gaining or losing them? Well, let's have a look at it. The manual consists of instructions as to how the coins can be used. Uh, well, for a start, like we have said earlier, each player will collect 3 coins from the bank. Next, if you step onto the two darker tiles of 36 and 55, you'll end up winning 2 coins. And it does not matter how many times you land on them, you'll get 2 coins from the bank. Next, if you take down a player and send the player onto the checkpoint, you end up winning 1 coin. Now, enough of winning coins, what to do with them? Well, for a start, you can get out of the checkpoint by paying one coin to the bank. If you ever get stuck in a checkpoint, if a player, if an opponent takes you down, then you can always get out of, of, of the checkpoint by paying one coin to the bank. And then comes the fun part. 
you can undo the final move of a player by paying one coin to the bank. So imagine this, your opponent is Ross and he's on 80 and he has just rolled a 1, which means he's winning this game. All you need to do is submit one coin to the bank to undo that move. Now Ross needs to roll the dice again. So players can delay the victory of the opponents and try to win it as long as they have coins in their hands to undo the winning move. Now saving the best one for the last, if you somehow manage to earn enough coins, you can literally buy one of your opponent by paying them 3 coins from your hand, provided the opponent has no coins at all. So if your opponent Monica has 0 coins and you have plenty, then you can give Monica 3 coins and end up buying Monica. Now what does that mean? Well it means Monica can no longer take you out at any point of the game. Also, Monica can no longer undo the possible winning move of yours. If a player has zero coins and is offered to be bought, the player has no choice but to say yes. Such is the power of the bong bank coins. So all you have to do is try collecting coins as much as you can, try your luck with the wild card when necessary, buy up players whenever the opportunity arises, and win the race to Central Park. We are assuring you it will be a right to remember. We have 4 other games that we have recently released and we are also coming up with a few. Do not forget to check out our products on Facebook, Instagram and on our website Kriyas Bangladesh and always keep an eye on our YouTube channel to see what we are up to. We have recently launched a series, Commentary with Mr. K, where we host games to show everyone more about how the game is played, narrated by our dear host Mr. K. Do check it out. Thank you crafters, take care.